today we're eliminating the stock, there it is, it's a little dark, eliminating the stock muff, uh, catalytic converter, which is part of this big long pipe that goes all the way down to the muffler. To replace it with a MagnaFlow catalytic converter. $280 stock part compared to a $90 part. Simplify, just gonna cut it on out. And this is temporary. Turn to it for there. This is temporary. If I try and leave this here, it's going to heat up and melt. So this is just to hold the line. So I get the cat on, and I'll take it off before I drive, and I will get myself a new donut. So there's the old cat. Have you ever used flans because it's leaking? And well, let's face it, these bolts never come out. And their shit. Uh, cut that out. There's this nice hole right here. I already have that adapter on. The other one's in the cat already. See that? Yeah. Uh, just gotta put it in place. Can't really see well, but in here, total black and gunk. This thing is about 30 years old, and it's given all it can give. I'm gonna replace it. Goodbye. One thing I should mention is that these adapters are so tight inside of here, but the best thing to do is actually get them in before you go and put it on. I know people will tell me that when looking downstream, you should always go over the, the incoming and then into the next step. So over, in, over, in, all the way down the line. But it just doesn't really work out that way. Especially when you're dealing with metric cars and all AutoZone carries are standard. Because this is a 2 and an 8 and my exhaust is in metric millimeters. They don't always match up exactly. But you make do with what you got. There you go. Now the cat is in. Only thing left to do is to put the clamps on, put the oxygen sensor back on. Well, best thing you can always do is put everything on and get it all in line and set up before putting the clamps on because you, sometimes you just want that little extra wiggle room. Another piece of advice. Deep well sockets. Get yourself a set because they make putting 
these clamps on so much easier. Otherwise, you gotta do it with just a wrench. That takes forever. And there you go. All bolted up. Of course, it's sitting super low because I'm missing that exhaust hanger to hold it up. But we'll rig something up to hold it for now. But yep, all good. That's rock and roll.